Good morning guys, how are we? Back out again, back out in William Wallace's land. Uh, going to try a few new areas of the field this week and uh, we've had a good bit of success on the, the ploughed field at the back here. And this is a new field which I'm having even more success on so I'm really really hopeful for this permission so I've just got to uh, absolutely just get the metal detector and get tore in because uh, I've got eight hours today so I'm hoping to make one or two videos so we'll just see what we get you know sometimes it doesn't always happen like that but this land's good there's a lot of walking but there's good finds so I'll get back to you guys in the first hit guys just dug this little coin up ah oh, there he's it <laughs> and it would come up as a 63 wow look at that is that an Irish hack possible Georgie Ford there possibly a Georgie Borgie half penny looks like an Irish hack I can actually see a head coming through there facing right I'm probably going to go for Georgie Ford so let's just I'm just going to give him a wee white money shouldn't really do this but yeah I've done it wow check the detail on that wow I don't know if the camera's picking this up I'm going to move into the light definite detail on that it's an Irish heart was on that that's a uh, Georgia Fudd I think looks like a Georgia Fudd half penny I'll get you a very, very good close-up of this when we get it home. Wow! That's an absolute stunning find. Woohoo! Hey guys, I've just dug this out. I got a really, really weird signal on. You know, it sounded dead, dead tinny and I wasn't going to dig it, but look at the depth over it. Wow, I mean, wow, that's just absolutely amazing. You're talking about less than an inch it was. Look at that. Wow, Georgia Fudd. Check that out. Georgia Fudd sixpence, I think that is. Wow, absolutely lovely. I love pasture permissions. Some of the coins can be absolutely fantastic, but there you go, that's a lovely Georgia Fudd. Six wins, woohoo, on the silver. Right guys, I just dug this, I got a lovely, lovely, lovely 91. I've got a big coin here, look at that beauty. Let's just pack this cell up out of the ground. Wow, it's going to be a nice big copper. Oh, it's Georgia Fudd, big Georgia Fudd penny. Wow, wow, yeah, that's a nice big Georgia Fudd penny, please excuse me. I've got a really sore throat today, I've got the cold now. It's all these late hunts I've been doing and the change in the weather. Let's have a wee squish of this, see if we can find out who he is. I think he's a big Georgia Fudd half penny, a big Georgia Fudd penny, sorry. Yeah, definitely, you can see him coming through now. That's definitely a big Georgia Fudd penny. Woohoo! There you go, guys. Just got a lovely 70 on the machine. And wow, check that out. That watch winder. Ain't that just amazing when you, you find stuff like that? I love little watch winders. Nice little Victorian relic. That's nice. Right guys, I've just dug this now, basically in another video I dug one similar to this, I don't know if it's, it's, it's the same, this just looks a wee bit bigger, I could be wrong, I thought it might have been another one of those makeshift spindle worlds, so I thought we'd just do it together, check it out and see if it is, and it's, it's not, <laughs> wow what's that, a makeshift bit of lead, it almost looks like a, a bottle stopper, <laughs> Almost looks like a bottle cap, so it does. No idea what that's been used for. Looks like a, a kind of bottle cap. Nice makeshift bit of lead. I just went to film there and I god knows when that was made or grew. Look at that, there's a carrot that survived in the ground for god knows how long. Here's the coin, I've just put it down in the ground. I think he's a turner. Yeah, very, very worn turner. Every time I find something today, I'm just kind of squishing it with a wee bit of water. I haven't squished this one yet. 
but that's definitely definitely an old turner generally have nothing on them so surprise surprise there that there's nothing on it but yeah it's a nice turner Charles II by the way if anybody doesn't know what a turner is most of them are Charles II turners so they date to uh, I think it's late 1600s just got a little 61 there and that looks like a bale seal looks like somebody's cut themselves so I'm going to be careful with it actually because it looks like a bit of blood still on it so yeah another nice little bale seal you'll probably see some of this video actually starts in pasture and, and then moves on to this kind of field here it's just because they get moved off the pasture because uh, they're doing a bit of work on it and it's uh, lambing season so they didn't want me in there so uh, just in case you're wondering uh, why the video all of a sudden jumps from pasture to this kind of field that's basically the reason Hey guys I've just had a signal now I've got myself a love token I've had to walk over to my bag because I want the water to clean it but there's somebody on that I can't see who it is but that is definitely a lovely little love token so let's get some water on it and can I find out who he is let's just scoosh over a wee bit of water give him a light and hopefully we'll be able to decipher who he is uh, he's looking like a George the Third, I think yeah I'm debating that he's William ah love this yep William the Third, love token woohoo get in woohoo so that's a William the Third uh, love token that's come out absolutely stunning gotta love finds like this you know back out in ancient Stirling you know this is this is where the finds are I'm, I'm marching some land now where you know armies once marched you know Bonnie Prince Charlie's and uh, William Wallace's army uh, also marched through here could be medieval trading routes like I said in the last place so I think there's going to be really good stuff here but that's a William the Third love token woohoo Right guys, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt. Good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you guys on another video. Bye for now.